Now here's an English classic, shepherd's pie. And I can show you how to make it. It's very easy. It's very delicious. You'll love it. Here's the ingredients. By the way, that bell pepper doesn't belong there. Celery, potatoes, onion, garlic, carrots. Now you can use ground beef or lamb. Chicken broth, wine, red wine, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce. Very delicious combination. We start by putting in either ground lamb or ground beef. It's up to you. The classic is ground lamb, of course. And you can take an instrument like this and just kind of break it up and keep doing that until it loses the pink color. And then you can start adding ingredients. We start with some garlic and onions and then carrots. Now here we're putting in rosemary and thyme and a little salt and some celery. Give it a stir. Worcestershire sauce. That's part of the ingredients so make sure you have that in there. Here's some pepper, black ground pepper. Give it another stir and we'll be adding some uh, tomato paste now two or three tablespoons of tomato paste and that's a biggie very much a part of, of what it tastes like I put in chicken broth here you can use beef broth I like the chicken broth a little milder but I like it better another stir and we're going to cover it and let it go for about 20 minutes or so. In the meantime, you could be doing the potatoes. You know, cut your potatoes small because we're going to be mashing them. Cut them like this right here, that, that shape. And then we'll be using a regular potato masher because that, that, in the end, that's what goes on top of shepherd's pie. Now here we did some red wine. Sometimes I use sherry. And... Um, what I like to do in advance, I like to take parsley and half and half and butter and heat it up in the microwave. The reason I heat it up is because we're going to be adding it to something that's already hot and we don't want to disrupt anything. You don't have to do this, but uh, you'll find things go better this way. Okay, now we are drain the potatoes and put them back in the pot and then take out the potato masher and we'll be adding that heated mixture of half and half parsley that can be dried parsley or fresh parsley and butter and then mash it up and finally we'll take after everything is cooked very nicely should be about 20 or 30 minutes put it in a bowl. We're going to be putting this in the oven and here we're going to use a metal spatula. Not this one but you'll see in a moment. Um, you take everything out and put it kind of in the middle and we're going to spread it out with the metal spatula and then put it in the oven in a broiler, under the broiler. Now we're going to be adding some Parmesan cheese on top of this of the potatoes. Spread it out really nice and evenly and here comes the, pota the uh, Parmesan cheese and into the oven under the broiler and you don't want to walk away you want to make sure that this is going to come to the right color we want a nice gold color as the cheese melts you see you can look at it in a glass bowl you can see everything underneath Yep, we're almost done. And we'll take it out and take it to the table. Oh, shepherd's pie is so good and easy to make and delicious. And it's up to you. You can throw in all kinds of vegetables in there. You know, I like to put in uh, peas and carrots also. Okay, there you have it. Shepherd's pie, a British classic. Enjoy.